What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new tutorial video. I'm going to show you guys this technique, how this is created. It's actually really simple and I'm going to explain you guys how it's done in Illustrator. So simply what you have to do is drag two circles and you can drag it by selecting the ellipse tool or press L on your keyboard and then click and drag with holding shift so it will be a perfect circle and we want to give this a black fill and then we are going to copy this by selecting it uh, click on it and then drag it with alt and shift to the left side we are going to give this a white fill color and then we are going to simply drag these two circles into the brushes panel and we are going to select a scatter brush and we are going to give this an overlap of 15 and set rotation relative to path and press on OK. OK, I think this will do it. Drag a circle, just I'm just going to try if it works. Yeah, that looks quite good. But I think the white inner circles are a little bit too small. So I'm going to adjust this uh, brush by clicking on it two times. And then I'm going to set the spacing to 20. And then we are going to set apply to strokes. So it will apply the effect or the new settings to the strokes so this looks quite good all right so now we are going to create the number nine so we are just going to create it in outlines first and after that we are um, going to apply the scatter brush to it okay select the black color we want to copy the uh, bottom half of the circle and drag it with shift to the downside of it. And we are going to um, use the scissor tool. Here it is. You can also press on C on your keyboard. I saw. And then we want to uh, cut this anchor point. It's now not connected anymore, as you can see. So we want to um, connect this path with this path and then we are going to place this one back and we can simply click on the scatter brush we just have made. Yeah, then the uh, effect replaces the path. So we can set a bigger stroke, then you have like some cooler effect okay this looks quite bold i think but it looks quite good actually and then um yeah you can also make some adjustments like i did with some circles to create like a starting point of the brush so it doesn't have a lot a lot of like this big white circle I'm just going to try if you can replace the spine as well. No, it's not, we can reverse the spine, so yeah. Okay guys, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you want to share something with me. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.